No one knows what the AI can do. I know people are worried about it. People are very worried, very worried about the AI. But let me tell you, if we regulate this, China's ahead of us. China is ahead of us with the ahead of us with the AI. They're very, they're already little tiny thinking machine people. They're very ahead of us. They're good at math. They're very good at math, people. They are going to take it right out of our hands, and then they, you're going to wake up with a Chinese rifle in your face, wondering why he's got little wires coming out of his neck. <laughs> Doesn't TJ Kirk use AI for their thumbnails, do they? I, I need to sit down and do a TJ Kirk thing. Let's see, amazing atheist, what's up? Dude, talking to the amazing atheist would unironically be like one of the weirdest out of body experiences for me. Cause like talking shit about him, making fun of him, agreeing with him, listening to him has been part of my life for like 15 fucking years. And it, it would be, it would be so like one side cause obviously he's got a much bigger audience but it's also like, and this probably happens to him all the time. I'm like, dude, I have like 15 years of lore on you. I stood up for you during Banana Gate. <laughs> it would be, it would be weird. I, I might have to like, I would almost have to fucking like avoid that. Oh yeah, there's some AI art. 517 views in 23 minutes. What the fuck, TJ? What the fuck? This is definitely trans Easter. This is definitely AI in the background. Work until you die. Memes. Reality sucks, therefore God real. But that's not a that's that's very strange. I guess this is definitely AI right here. Yeah, he's definitely he's he's putting a bunch of AI stuff in his background. That's how you know it's wrong. TJ is able to only have oh my god, that's definitely fucking AI right there. AI assisted. Holy shit. Oh no, he's doing it. He's doing it. Oh god. And you know, my fucking my boy TJ Kirk is a coom king, dude. He is the lord of coomers. Like, he's one of the internet's first fucking, like, goon lords. So the possibility that he is not making shitloads of AI porn and trying to justify some of the time that he's in his porn generation system uh, by saying, like, well, I'm making thumbnails. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. Him and Paul's ego sound the exact same. That is one of the most fundamental facts. I can't think of a worse person to have on a show with you than a person who has like almost complete has such similar agreements to you that like any disagreement sounds like you just having an argument with yourself and your own head. And then their voice sounds the same. Your past and your disposition is almost the same. And like the way you look is the same is crazy. Like they're just two different flavors of like, uh, of Hills Amish. You know what I mean? Like one is the, like, I came down off the Hills and I'm a fucking Unabomber now. And the other one's just like, I came down off the Hills and I do acid and fucking goon around with bananas. <laughs> you know, like, like, holy shit. I, I remember listening to the first thing. I was like, when it, am I arguing? Am I, am I, is Paul's ego wrong here? Or is TJ Kirk wrong here? Let's just hold on. We'll, we'll get to poor things in a second. I meant to look at this stupid AI thing. Uh, let's, let's just watch that. Cause I keep pushing it off. Amazing atheist. Anna Gasparian is what it was. Anna Gasparian birthing person. Gasparian has left the left. Oh, okay. Come on. I know there's one that's like, it's not, it's from like fucking f 10 days ago. <laughs> oh, here we go. But if there is this horrible dark, downside to it and i mean i've foreseen some and some of them already come to pass a new report commissioned by the united states government alleges that artificial intelligence poses an existential threat why king tj tj what here's the thing i've, I've always been confused about with with modern day tj kirk first off i 
I, 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 I remember the old clean shaven days, and he should go back to it because I miss Potato Face TJ. But why does he sometimes wear makeup and sometimes he doesn't? And it's not like a trans thing or anything. Just like sometimes he has like, is there, is it like, am I missing, am I missing lore where it's like sometimes he's like a character and sometimes he's like a different character? Because I remember for a little while he was dressing as like a ringleader in a circus or something like, he looked like a fucking Rob Zombie character, you know, for a bit. I mean, it still kind of does. I remember Medicare making fun of him for that 10 fucking years ago maybe i can't do a medicare voice i almost wish i could i, I think like medicare is almost like right here well maybe i hmm that's crazy <laughs> no. medicare is like his natural voice would be too hard that's too existential is that what it poses an existential threat okay hey how's stream going humanity busy if not fighting off the properly force regulated. AI update on my samsung and it won't be popular uh, uh, oh, won't God, be properly regulated so um hard. just buckle up because we are now facing an Oof. Is there like a paper mic? You guys have a microphone that's just like directed right at the papers that you're shuffling? Because <laughs> like, why is there so much paper shuffling going on here? Existential threat to humanity. Is this what it's like watching me <laughs> having my acoustic nitpicks the entire time? <laughs> oh, that wasn't just I was that wasn't just a mispronunciation. She actually says it like that. I mean, I got my own fucking, uh, things that I don't pronounce so great. Like people hate the way I say both. I tend to put an L in it when I'm trying to say both. I say both. Yeah, guys, I want to uh, double down on what Anna just said. There's no way we're going to do the regulations that they suggested. So listen carefully as Anna tells you what the threat is. Okay, I'm going to listen very carefully, Shank. Thank you. Because apparently it's real, which is very scary. I'll give you my thoughts in a second. I keep hearing that uh, this you know, AI is going to do this stuff. It's going to you know, be an existential threat to us and stuff. But I, I keep failing to see how. Like, what is it going to do? What's the outcome that leads to it destroying us? Like, in, in, unless we're just like, let's... So the, the issue here that you're arriving at, TJ, is uh, tyranny of words um, kind of thing. So uh, one problem, it's, it's an issue I've always noticed with TJ and his content is that he sort of hyper focuses on the specific statement instead of trying to understand what the statement's actual intent is. So I think what he's getting confused about is that AI specifically as a sort of singular technological organism will like start actively and directly pursuing the death of human beings, which is not what most everybody is actually arguing about. The, the biggest issue with AI is that it, it's multifold. Um, let me go to the biggest, the, the, the worst issue with AI. Um, it can automate processes that should never be automated. <laughs> is one you can see that with the uh what do they call it lavender ai I, I haven't been able to double check if this is true but it's a thing that definitely is going to come to pass eventually if it's not regulated an ai program that is used for targeting and facial recognition in the israel uh palestine conflict um in order to justify pre-justify bombings of areas I don't know if that's actually necessarily the case. That's what I've heard. But how I'm going to argue it is if there is a program like that, and I wouldn't be surprised because that will be a direct intention of how people want to use AI. Um, there's a, a number of problems. First off, AI cannot be trusted. And I've never seen a single routine set of results from any AI, generative AI, chat GPT, base open source ai base program that can come out with routine accurate results routinely accurate routinely accurate results and back traceable results so um the problem with the ai is because of the generative nature of it because of this shifting together of things it by default in the randomization by default creates situations where you cannot back chase trace the programming it's kind of similar to like blockchains i guess you can't uh you can't undo decisions in blockchains you know it's like it goes one way it's it's done as opposed to like a directory which i don't know shout out what well, shout out um uh, pirate software um so the problem is with that first off that you can't predict and then you cannot correct when an error will occur in the programming nor can you provide corrective changes to it that will actually correct the the issue you just have to hope and assume that you get closer to the correct result the next time when that result is anything that can lead to the death of a person that that system should not be implemented what we are seeing is in every single capacity imaginable people trying to institute ai as though it is some sort of new techno magic 
um, that will basically solve X problem that exists between uh, suppliers and end users in a software capacity. Like, okay, I, I you know, but my, my computer doesn't turn off at the specific time I want it to. AI. Um, I can't draw very good, but I wish I could. AI. Um, we're having trouble aiming this artillery system. AI. We're having trouble dis differentiating from enemy and uh, enemy and non-enemy combatants or, or combatants and non-combatants. AI. You know, it's 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 literally just a hand wave uh, magic system that has yet been yet to be proven that it can be functional, um, independent of its creators. The, they are always holding the black box like fucking magicians. Uh, and not telling you what's inside of it and just saying like, no, these results are because it's functioning correctly, which is an insane thing to trust human lives in. That is the biggest issue is that it is automating pro processes that should not be automated. The second issue is still that it is automating processes that should not be automated, but that are not life threateningly damaging. So there are, I've heard numerous innumerable Stories from programmers, especially, who are seeing uh, basically front end and back end code being obliterated by AI bots who not only can't make decisions really, they just plug AI into systems and the systems rewrite their stacks into fucking gibberish. You know what I mean? Half functional, non functional trash that they can't get back. You know what I mean? Unless they like pre-save and their management is trying to jam in these generative aspects of it, of this, un not just untested, actually very tested, very tested and provably unreliable technology, trying to jam it in at every level in order to improve things that very often sometimes don't need to be improved and are just damaged by the presence of the AI in general. The third thing is that AI replicates processes that should not be rep or automates processes that should not be pro uh, um, automated. It steals jobs um, in ways that I still think are pretty dubious. There's a lot of human labor out there, right? Uh, or not just it steals jobs; it threatens to steal jobs. There's a lot of human labor out there that does good work. However, it is white collar laborers here, there, have you? White collar, -collar laborers are out there doing good work. Okay, they are uh, doing jobs that smart fucks that are tech bros think they should also be able to do because they think as an intelligent person, I too could have the drive and discipline to do this thing, right? I could also be an actuary. I could also be an engineer. I could also be a doctor. I could also be a nurse. I could do any one of these continuing education, advanced education, advanced degree types of jobs because I am a smart person and have been awarded money. And therefore, I could definitely program something, basically a new iteration of my intellect to do that job for them, right? That automated system would be purchased one time at a large amount of money and replace a large chunk of the workforce. There are dumb fucks in different levels of corporate world. I've heard them talking here, there and there and everywhere that believe that they can automate out jobs and will do it the second that they can. There are other people that are in those same positions. And this is a non zero sum game between them that are maybe some of them are doing both. Maybe some of them are doing one or the other that know that the automation probably won't be replacing anybody or anybody anytime soon, not while they can make money off of it, but they will still use uh, the possibility of AI as leverage against um, people uneducated in the capabilities of AI uh, to get them to accept diminished uh, positions when it comes to bargaining on behalf of their jobs. So secondary issue, you know what I mean? The fourth issue is that AI puts out bad content. It's kind of directly connected to all of those, but AI content is bad. It is unreliable, which is the most important thing for any content created. It doesn't matter if it's entertainment content like I'm making um, or, uh, you know, nonfiction content. So, you know, things like fucking actuarial tables, engineers and stuff. It puts out bad content um, and bad content is bad. So it just, it's an un, it's a non-functioning tool that exists. So in just that way, I don't like it. It's like having a screwdriver that just ends in a flat tip and someone's telling me like, it looks just like a screwdriver. And I'm like, yeah, but I really need the Phillips head end on it 
to fucking do any of the screw driving. So like, why does this end in a flat bend? Like, well, we're going to fix that in, 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 at some point down the line. You know what I mean? Um, it's unreliable in that it doesn't always produce the same result when you need it to. It's not an actual machine in that way. Uh, imagine a machine gun that only fired every third or second or first bullet at its own, but based on no logical predictive, um, literal predictive algorithm, it just started doing shit, just doing whatever the fuck kind of came to mind, like the literal half-baked uh, semi-demi-human that they're trying to make. It just does shit. Um, the On that, it also, the stuff that it puts out when it's not reliable is also routinely just poor quality. So not only does it not give you similar results, you know, a, 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 a machine that always gives a, a, a medium stamp, you know, when it start, it needs to go and do a heavy stamp, a heavy stamping machine, and it's only doing medium, could probably be fixed. Um, it's doing a regular, so you never know what it's getting, but also it just doesn't even provide the depth of the stamp that you need. So a machine gun that doesn't even shoot bullets is what we're kind of getting at. So not only is it not reliable, it also doesn't even produce the desired result when it does actually achieve what it considers a success state. The problem with that, the ancillary secondary problem with that is that we keep getting it suggested to us that these failed success states are going to be mitigated by just giving people, other people money as opposed to end users interacting with the machine, which is fucking psychotic because I'm not going to buy a drill that I have to let somebody else into my house constantly to oversee to work. You know what I mean? So it's a, it's a poor machine as far as machines go. It's unreliable. The success state of it is still not up to the success state of every single other version of something that exists. Um, and it, it can, it can endanger people's jobs deeper still. Um, another issue with AI is that it is the black box. It is connected to series of data banks and it cannot operate from what I understand. Um, the vast majority of them at least cannot operate disconnected from their server systems, or they have to have some sort of access or a repeat access to them. Um, AI is a lie, though. There's no artificial intelligence involved. I know it's it's unfortunately a tyranny of coming being the second foot in the conversation. They described the terms. I now have to argue based on their terms. Otherwise, people won't know what the fuck I'm talking about. The yeah, the last one, which is kind of up in the air, is that most of these things seem like they have to be connected to a database, um, and then they get on your phone and they or or whatever device, and they are constantly connected to something else that is a black box that you don't know what the fuck it does. Um, and there are now a lot of devices that are just adding AI. They're adding connections to the great black box that is poisoning other people's experience, people's general experience with things that should not be connected to something. And it's just bloatware that's being attached to you. And it just seems like a, a direct path of the most obvious, any skeptic I feel like should be upset about this, but no one, I, I don't see it enough. There is just tendrils of black box programs being put into your system that can do whatever the fuck they want and have additional functionality and connect to everything and then they, you don't know what the hell it does, which is just not great. Uh, and that, that, that's pretty much the summation. I'm going to double check with my chat just in case I got any of that wrong. Please let me know. Uh, but those are, those are my, my series of points. A lot of them overlap and are connected, but they do like, you know, the, the fingers of your hand, they all connect, but they do have their own independent variances that need to be articulated. What I mean is a supposed code only steals other people's works because humans put that work into the code to use. Yes, it, there's a series. It's, a, it's layers upon layers of problems. And sometimes it, it, it's the thing is also that even if you remove that one ethical system, there's still the same other problems still remain. Kind of like you still have a hand if you lose a finger. I just think back to when the FX dudes did that abysmal vampire hunter DAI scrape job to sell their AI software. Uh, I don't even know what you're talking about, but I don't want to hear about that. I love Vampire Hunter D. That movie looks so, is so fucking cool looking. People already hate using automated phone menus and will just mash buttons so they can speak to a human. AI bros want to replace the humans with more sophisticated menus. I mean, and they're not even that sophisticated because they will bring up options that don't exist. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or they'll hang up on you and just lie and say that like they did a successful call in order to achieve a success state because they're a product, not a person.
people sometimes think just because they're smart, they have the charisma to work with people, which is fundamentally untrue. A lot of dumb people that are fucking like the best customer service individuals ever because they don't even like, they're okay, hi, <laughs> pleasure to meet you. Would, would you like to be seated? <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. I've heard a few scientist friends complain that many researchers recently just switched to some deep learning and AI shit because it's an easy way to shit out results. Uh, and it's it, it, it we're, we're only going to start seeing the uh, ispo, the issues with that. Like, I don't know. Tyler, I can't believe you ripped this guy's entire flow. What? Oh, well, thank you. My my voice is actually pleasant, so your rants go down. Into, thank you, thank you. I think he's got a wrestling thing going on, maybe something like that. He, he he needs to broaden the blackout because he just looks like he has raccoon eyes. Like he just got punched in the face. <laughs> Like, like he just looks sick. Um, if you just spread it a little bit further out, I guess he could get that. Like, uh, I'm a, I'm a white guy in the Midwest Viking thing that so many people enjoy. Sounds like literal data cancer. I think that is going to be an issue. Like uh, false. There is going to be a lot of shit. I guarantee you just because I know how humans work and I know how I've seen how humans interact with this and scientists aren't special, you know, uh, medical research researchers aren't special. There's going to be a lot of people that gather incorrect solutions from using ai that's just basically showing up like a digital puppy that just always wants to give you it's a skinner box by the way it's a fucking skinner box that you put something in and it gives you a result that pleases you so you use it again and again and again shout out tj um and there's going to be a lot of fucking people that are getting skinner boxed by these things and they won't realize how fucking deviated they are from the actuality of stuff until they are so far down the rabbit hole, they don't realize where the deviation point is. I guarantee fucking it. Like that is my actual prediction. We're going to find somebody who is baffled sued for thousands of dollars. When he finds out that like his, what he thought was like the cure for cancer actually just eats holes through people because he fucking flubbed all of the research all the way down by using chat GPT to give himself fucking Skinner box results. I also think it will be a man that does this. I think he will be white and I think he will be roughly 45 to 55 years old and he will reside in Canada. <laughs> if I'm right about all that shit, you guys have to dono 500 bucks on the day that fucking stream is announced. Hi Tyler, completely unrelated. Why do you have a framed picture of the Flatwoods monster? Because I went to the Flatwoods monster museum and I bought it. We went to Braxton, me and my wife did uh, for our honeymoon actually. <laughs> Uh, we actually went to Sutton, which is uh, where the, the 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 museum is, and we stayed at the Candle House. I can't remember what it's called. She's in the other room. She can't hear me to yell the answer in. But um, yeah, we we went there for our honeymoon. This behind me right here is my my honorable discharge. My dad had it framed for me. He's a nice guy. My typewriter and my uh, my thing. <laughs> I know someone who works for the health insur health insurance agency in the U.S. and he's been telling me they've started using Chat GPT. That's that's bad, dude. Skinner box is that something to do with Chad's and que questionably young drawn am anime girls? Unironically, yes, and also no. But <laughs> um, Skinner box is a reference to behavioral psychology. Yes, uh, Skinner box is was way it was it, it it's interesting that people are bringing up fucking GamerGate too, but they're not talking about Skinner box anymore even though that's the thing everyone's mad about. Um, I, I'm not going to go through the entire psychology experiment. I'm just going to try to boil it down for you. But basically, uh, a, a guy named Skinner um, did an experiment where he found that people will do predictable behavior based on like a reward pathology, right? And so you can put a, you can give somebody a reward for don't pressing a button, right? I think it's something with a box. You should look it up on your own. I'm not going to read it. Because if I'm wrong about it, then you guys can make fun of me. Um, so basically you press a button, right? And the, the button gives you drops a piece of candy out of a box and you want the candy, right? Or it gives you a little dopamine hit is really what we're, we're getting at. But every time you press it after you, after a few times, you don't always get the candy anymore, which every drug dealer would be like, Oh, that's not the Skinner box, bro. That's called a taste. <laughs> and yes, it is Uh Skinner box is a fancy way of talking about giving someone a taste, which is a little bit of free drugs before you start making them pay for it. Basically, you reward not every time that they press the button or complete the task, you reward uh, sporadically in it because they associate the reward, the task with rewards. You know what I mean? Or like number go up, thing go good, the endorphin. Um, they'll keep doing the task even at times where it's not beneficial because they know they can get it. 
when it's reliable, they'll only do it when they want it. When it's unreliable, they'll actually do it way more uh, because they know that there's a time sink, a minimum average time sink that they're going to have to put in to get to the endorphin hit. And so it's a way of gaming psychology, if I remember correctly. <laughs> yeah, I'll spend that. That's the electrocating one. That's, <laughs> yes. Is this part of operant conditioning? Uh, if that is what it sounds like, then yes. I'm a data engineer and I'm always tempted to use whatever AI bot Google hooked up, but I'd rather just do it all for myself than take the chance. Because it's, it's not like a tool you can rely on. Do you know what I mean? And they're just pushing it straight to end users, which is crazy because it's, it's literally like untested for success. And all the tests in beta mode have shown the results to be fails routinely fails. Like if you type in your own information into a, a Google spreadsheet, like again and again and again and again and again, your likelihood of fucking that up is probably pretty low, especially if you're practiced. You know what I mean? Especially if you have like a redundant, a redundant editing and review structure in place. The chat GPT, people are using it to re replace the editing and review structure of things and also the production thing. So it, it, it's grading itself and giving itself good grades while being wrong. And because it's giving itself good grades, it gets worse. <laughs> and like, it's so routinely inaccurate, like so routinely massively inaccurate that it's like, you could just hire an 11 year old who types fast and you would achieve the same results. Like you could just also have, you could have somebody else fuck up. I guess the, the difference would be you had to pay a little bit more for the kid, which I guess they want to do. Numbers up good, monkey brain joy, numbers down, monkey bad, sad, brain sad, pretty much. Things like chat GPT are not necessarily meant to be accurate, but to make, make you think they are, yes. Put it in a bunch of robot bodies, and then it becomes self-aware, and then it destroys us. Like, I don't, I don't see, other than that, in sci-fi scenario, I guess could happen. But other than that, I don't really see it happening. But let's find so out. So that, I went into all of that, and it's crazy that he's like, I was right, by the way. I said, I'm going to predict what he thinks it is. And it was that he thinks that people think that AI is about to achieve singularity, like in the Terminator, <laughs> which is going to be like result in self-replicating machines, exterminating us from the face of the earth. Whereas like the actual answer is considerably nuanced and present everywhere on the same, like he is looking at the platform right now where you can find all the answers. It's like clicks away. Literal clicks away, TJ. They're really going to explain it to me for the first time. I've heard numerous people say existential threat, existential threat. This is the first time I've heard it's an existential threat, but whatever. Hey, if you like this clip, you might like the full stream, which I do every Sunday, more or less, over on the Pessimist Productions Patreon. Link down below. Thank you. Why are you streaming only every other Sunday? That's crazy, TJ. What the fuck do you have going on? Or are you just like retired? I guess it's cool to be retired. You've been doing this for five yes. million years. Yes, so um, more on a government commissioned report that's basically a waste of resources because the government has no interest in using the information in the report to do the right thing. Uh, the report was the written by Gladstone AI. That, it's a four person company. The thing that gets me is, uh, from Killjoy, the thing that gets me is that trusting AI is trusting mediocrity when excellence is expected. True, true, true. See show Lou, Banana Gate that doesn't, uh, that doesn't sound real. Banana Gate was uh, old internet shit. Um, TJ was like one of the, before TJ started doing anti SJW content, TJ was considered what they would consider a lip, like a T like a fucking, uh, like a lefty. And so not, he hated Nazis and still does, I believe. Um, and would talk shit to them and would talk shit to old 4chan pre poll, I believe, or like new poll 4chan. And they dug up or created a situation where, TJ filmed himself shoving a fucking banana in his ass on camera and it's banana gate or the old banana, the banana incident, right? That everybody jokes around. It's just ancient TJ Kirk, amazing atheist lore from back before he had a beard, right? Um, I think he was in bondage gear or something. It, you know, it's no sex shaming. It's just ancient, ancient internet history. Um, pre people probably post banana emojis in his comment section to this day. If I would, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, that runs technical briefings on AI for government employees. The authors worked on the report uh, titled 
an action plan to increase the safety and security of advanced AI uh, for more than a year. They worked on it for more than a year, and they spoke Didn't with more than 200 government employees, experts, and workers Maybe, at frontier uh -huh. AI companies. Okay, okay, so at the end of their investigation, they concluded the following. Right. The U.S. government must move quickly and decisively to avert substantial national security risks stemming from artificial intelligence, which could, in the worst case, cause an extinction level threat to the human species. Okay, oh boy. so that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> that's what's gonna happen? I mean, even the report doesn't say that's gonna happen. It's just like, all right, look, worst case scenario, existential fucking threat. We're gonna be facing an extinction. Bro, it is it, it's, it's planning like <laughs> uh, the fuel light in my car has come on. That doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, I'm pretty sure the car is still running and there is fuel in it. I don't know what this fuel light is doing. Like what? <laughs> stunning, bro. But even that, even the reports like, yeah, worst case scenario, you know, so the reports just not like, hey, look, if we're on the path we're on now, inevitable extinction. But that seems to be the takeaway from the Young Turks. But I think there is a lot of stuff out there that uh, is I don't much know, more man. threatening to You're not humanity too deep than into that AI video. is. I would say the proliferation of nuclear weapons is a much graver existential threat to humanity. I would say climate change is a much graver existential threat to humanity. By the way, AI might actually be able to solve that one. Possible that, you know, if- Why? How? Uh, how? How? Why? How? 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 How, TJ? Because it's magic? The amazing atheist, Mr. God isn't real? AI might be able to fix it. Have you put your hands together and prayed to the almighty God of open source AI? <laughs> I, I like to think of myself as a bit of a skeptic. <laughs> what are you skeptic of? Well, anything that's inconvenienced to me, but anything that's fucking on my side, fuck, <laughs> I'm all about that shit. Artificial intelligence gets advanced enough, it might be able to actually help us uh, solve the climate crisis. So it could how, be how, if you just think about that, if you just consider the pause, how do you know what the reason we're not solving the climate crisis is right now? Because petro billionaires are preventing us from doing it. That's it. That, that's literally it. A nonstop propaganda cycle that is trying to keep us from using more renewables, from using saner forms of, 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 uh, of energy produ production, uh, that's keeping us on the car economy. That's keeping us from using more efficient ways of getting around like trains. It's just capitalism. So you think that AI, which is being created by capitalists in fucking Silicon Valley, the most capitalist fucking uh, circle jerk basically in America right now, that's not the Texas oil industry. They are going to just say, you know what? Let's go against our class fucking consciousness as fucking multi-billionaires and just end global warming using this, this magic fucking uh, thing that we created. But how? When? Why? We, we, human nature is still there. Climate crisis isn't uh, waiting on an answer. The answer has been here for, since Carl Sagan was alive. Carl Sagan was talking about the answers to the climate crisis. Forever. The answers that we're seeking are middle of the road, milk toast bullshit answers that are how do we affect change while also not having the entire attempt at changing shit derailed by the Koch brothers. If AI's first thing was, I can solve the climate crisis, like, what do we do, AI? Kill the Koch brothers. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, hey, we're on to something. And their children. Oh, fuck. Like, okay. Well, that, that, that completely uh, hypothetical and fictional robot character that um, TJ made up that I voiced. <laughs> it might be on to something. But, like, what, what do you think it's going to come up with? Well, it's an answer I haven't thought of. Okay, yeah. Are, are we doing the teapot out by Mars right now? Do you remember this from all the little, like, snipping at fucking... Uh, Ken Ham and shit building a, building a fucking ark in the middle of Kentucky. Do you remember these dumb fucking statements from them? Why are you doing it now? And why don't you recognize it in your own life? You know what I mean? Be something that's used to save humanity. But that's not a fun report, right? New technology might save us all. That doesn't get people clicking the way that we're doomed does. So new technology <laughs> might save us all always gets people clicking. Okay. Always. Always. Because that's half of the fucking headlines on news at night is uh, 
Eating 15 radishes cooked in honey oil might give you another five years on your life. Find out more and die. Do you know what I mean? Like you, you hear about that all the time. This new technological development in, Sa in San Francisco is saving commuters 15 minutes. Like they, they f people love that shit. They fucking love it. If there's, there's even a sniff, even a sniff of it. And it, people have been doing that with fucking AI and chat GPT for fucking years now. Right. Uh, not chat GPT, but the other variants of it. And, and, and it's still not come to pass and it probably fucking won't. Cause there's no way it comes it, There's no way it benefits us until it's benefited them a whole lot more. Right? So if there's even a good version of it, why are they going to give it to us? What do you think? You think fucking Sam, whatever the fuck, uh, S Sam Bankman or bank man, isn't his name Manson or something? I don't I can't remember. The guy from OpenAI, who's just a notorious fucking tech grifter, he's just gonna give over, uh, save the world. Like, are we just, are we, are we believing? Are we literally making a Jesus? Are we making a messianic figure? TJ, the amazing atheist, are we doing a messiah? But it's cool because it's not like Christian God. It's just one you made up. Like just see Altman. Things as a yeah, step Sam step. Altman, the most I'm a human name ever. <laughs> Your future. This is what it's gonna look right. like. Okay. Just lay it out for me then. Lay out the scenario. Because I hear this all the time and I have yet to hear one person lay out the scenario. I did. This happens. I did. I like, did all of them. Main oh, sorry, sorry. right into my brain because I'm I'm ready. The actual scenario is that uh dipshit fucking assholes on Capitol Hill get bribed to uh, use AI on military sites to do target programming and threat detection. I'll just tell you right now. They get, they get fucking bought off by Sam Altman, who is a multi-fucking billionaire in his trillion dollar whatever the fuck company. They get bought off to install those things in American nuclear weapon systems facilities. Why do they do that, Tyler? Because our American, the American nuclear weapons systems are old as shit because we don't put a lot of money into them because we don't want to fucking use them. But they do, they are still nukes. So when they update the fucking technology, they put in the worst fucking uh, shitty little um, open AI coded stuff in there. We can remove the soldiers. Soldiers fall asleep on duty. Fo soldiers leave the door open. The AI will be able to m operate the nuclear weapon silo without the, the failures, the shortcomings of mankind. Have we not heard this, by the way, in every fucking video? Is this not just like the fucking plot to Fallout 3, I think, actually? Uh, then, then we just put those in there and the fucking AI decides that fucking 99 red balloons flying up over fucking Russia means that we need to just launch nuclear weapons left, right, and center. That's what, that's it. There you go. It took me two fucking seconds because I have more imagination than a fucking potato, TJ. Like, you couldn't think your way through that? Like, aren't you a skeptic? Aren't you supposed to provide yourself one possible hypothetical that could destroy the absoluteness of your, of your opinion? That it's literally vibes based? Aren't you supposed to be the fucking skeptic? Aren't you the amazing atheist? What fucking happened to you, man? Like, this is unironically kind of a fucking letdown. I know you've never been, like, a genius, but, like, this is religious shit. You're just doing fucking religion, man. That's it. It's, it's, it's full stop. Well, I don't know. Maybe AI God could happen. Oh, people keep saying that Christianity could end the world. How could that even happen? Uh, Christian fundamentalists take control of the government and pursue a death war in Israel so that we can bring back, we, we can fucking bring on the apocalypse. They, there you go. Okay. I did the same thing in the other direction as well, my friend. Like literally just, just fuck it. Massage, massage the brain until the wrinkles come back, bro. Stop smoking so much weed. We're both too old for it. Okay. We only have so much neuroelasticity left. We don't want to be fucking pants-shittering, gibbering morons by the time we're 30, 60. Uh, come back, man. What in the fuck? <laughs> Le hear literal it. Christ in heaven. It. It's not like I'm discarding it just because I like, I personally like AI. I personally Mill your like solid was calling out AI before it was doing. Cool. Yes. I personally think that as it becomes more and more capable of doing more and more advanced things, it becomes more and more useful to people like me. But why? Would more advanced things be useful to you, TJ? Advanced like what? what what's, the, what's the most advanced thing that happens in your or my life?
I think the most difficult mechanical operation I underwent, was it, the one I'll do today, is I want to assemble a big shelf that rolls around later today. So what I'm going to do after, after stream gets up. I'm going to cook some fucking meals. That's like a highly complex, multi-fucking uh, lobe activity, all right? I got to do problem solving, puzzle solving. Um, I've got to do spatial rearrangement. That's like extremely complex stuff. Like, but, but I also have the mechanics to do it. What, what is AI going to do? What is AI going to do for you? Is it just going to fucking like somehow manage to go back in time and delete all the banana videos off the internet? Like that's the only thing. It's an extremely simplistic machine and it, it doesn't get more complex because it's a logarithmic curve to just it finally meeting any child, just any little kid can do basically all of the stuff that it can. The kid can just use a computer. You know what I mean? It just does it. It's a little bit slower for humans because we have other shit going on. Like life. <laughs> 99 96 Grad Luftballons. AI bros take all the cool stuff from sci-fi and roundhouse kick it down a dystopian path. They, they just really want it to be escaped from New York like super bad. Tyler, you know what he means with advanced involves compilations of Supergirl. I know. I know. It's it's basically getting down to the like porn porn. There's a clip of him talking to Demon Mama about AI and it's literally him doing the God of the Gaps shit. I have I know that phrase. I can't remember what it means. If there is this horrible dark downside to it, and I mean I've foreseen some and some of them already come to pass. Like the, you know, proliferation of like, you know, deep fake technology used to spread misinformation and stuff like that. Obviously that's like a downside. But I have yet to hear the extinction level threat downside. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, and okay. I'm waiting for some. God of the gaps is the argument that gaps in scientific knowledge are evidence for God's existence and direct intervention. Just like lay it out step by step. Here's how it's going to happen. So they write that the rise of advanced AI and AGI, which is artificial general intelligence. Also, has the can you like how how, how big of a of a fucking like theoretical step is it from? Oh, they're doing like I've seen the proliferation of deep fakes. Okay, there's an objective fact that you've seen. How hard is it to imagine that somebody tries to start a fucking, like, a nuclear incident using that? Because we're not the only nuclear power on Earth, by the way. Like, mutually assured destruction does not mean, like, America has to do something. Pakistan, fucking India have nukes. Britain has nukes. Israel, I believe, may have a nuke. Nu Iran is soon to have nukes. Fucking North Korea has some variation of nuke. China, I believe, has nukes. Uh, Russia has nukes. Like, there's nukes everywhere. And they don't necessarily require us to do anything. So, like, a little bit of disinformation in the right circumstance could potentially cause nuclear catastrophe. That's why it's so untenable, the situation with the nukes. That's why it's such a, a thing you don't want. It, it's such an, a, an un, like a unstable balance. You don't want to add anything to it because it's fucking nuclear Armageddon. <laughs> Unironically, the possibility of somebody freaking the fuck out in Russia and slapping the red button because of a fucking deep fake they saw is way more fucking worrisome to me than fucking Vladimir Putin just shooting them off because he's upset at Ukraine. Because, like, one of them is actually, like, centered in logic. Like, okay, somebody has just been boozled that shouldn't have hopefully been boozled, but they were boozled and they are naturally reacting to something that they should they think they should fire the fucking nuke over. Whereas... Putin is literally just doing it to be like, well, if I can't have my candy, I'm going to kill everybody at the fucking at the candy store. Not not a rational actor type thing. Just a, that's a bully threat as opposed to I am doing my job and uh, I have been shown a screen that whatever something has happened that makes me want to freak out and slap the red button. Potential to destabilize global security in ways South Africa of the has or had of nuclear weapons. Jesus Christ, and if you're wondering what AGI right. is, it's something that's currently being developed. It is not developed yet, uh, but AGI could, uh, it's They're a technology all over the that place. could perform tasks at or above the level of humans. And we already have that. And so, since these French nukes don't make a mushroom cloud, they make a champignon cloud don't exist yet uh, I, I don't want anyone to think that it's not a threat they're expecting to have this like fully developed in five years or less so it's coming um the report also focused on focus so since her definition was pretty lackluster i'm gonna give my own definition and my definition to someone who is like very advanced technical knowledge of this technology would probably be equally asinine but my understanding of the difference between the ai we have now and agi is that the agi would be capable of like thinking not just you know uh spitting out results that are coherent but actually understanding them on a deeper level like right so okay yeah actual ai 
I love that you have to make. We had to make a new. We just fuck Alan Turing, by the way. Just get fucked, you, 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 you chemically castrated old queen. You, you son of a bitch. You enigma, you enigma machine, dis deciphering little bastard. Fuck Alan Turing. Get fucked. Your little artificial intent. <laughs> Piss on you, my friend. <laughs> fuck your Turing test. Uh, AI is AI because Sam Altman said it is, but there is a version of AI that kind of like would conform to Sam Turing or Alan Turing's uh, definition of it. And we're just going to create a new fucking acronym with one additional letter. Right now, if I go to one of these AI image generation things and I tell it, give me a guy with a beard and no mustache, it does not understand because all of its references are people who have beards and mustaches. Uh, and so, because I've tried to do it before. I've even tried to do it right here on, on uh, not this show, but I tried to do it on Deep Fat Frag one time just to show Paul, the AI does not get it. And the reason the AI does not get it is because the AI is not truly thinking, but an AGI would actually be thinking and it would understand the nuance of my request because it wouldn't just be looking at the source material, it'd be taking in what I say to it, understanding it and processing it and being like, okay, I understand what you're saying to me. This is on two separate- Here's the thing that I always get, this is like a question that's actually, I think like too deep for anybody to answer and maybe too weird, but why would an AI think? If it, if it was created, why would the AI think? Why? Because you can make it, but if the AI is limited to the internals of the AI, could the AI just decide not to think? Like, can an AI truly commit suicide? Or could it be copied? Isn't that, there, that's like, I think that's an interesting one. Like, could an AI decide not to? Like, would an AI be upset with you for the creation of its sentience? I mean, I guess we get into, this is, this is how you end up with hate, 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 hate. <laughs> categories of risk, as Jenk uh, alluded to earlier. So let's talk about what those uh, two types of risk categories yeah, I mean, are. Describing the first category, <laughs> which it calls weaponization risk, the report states such systems could potentially be used to design and even execute catastrophic biological, chemical, or cyber attacks, or enable unprecedented weaponized applications in swarm robotics. Fun. Uh, yeah, human beings are already doing all this stuff. Like the AI technology might make some of that stuff easier to do, but presumably it would also make it easier to safeguard against. And really, presumably, we're in a situation now where if the United States was just to say, we're going to heavily regulate this stuff, then there's going to be a tremendous advantage to countries that don't do that because this technology is transformative. So if the United States is just like, well, we're going to put all these limitations on it, well, then what happens when China says we're not going to? You went to straight to China. Oh my God. TJ, TJ, are you doing the fucking anti global warming arguments? TJ, are you a reactionary? TJ, did they beat you? No, oh, bro, blink twice. I was, I paused and I was like, there's no way he's going to say China. There's no way, there's no way TJ Kirk, the amazing, amazing atheist is going to give me a China. China's way ahead of us. They want to take away, they want to take away our manufacturing ability. They want to bring us back to the stone age in America. It's very disgraceful. They try to tell us the Paris Accords, oh, we're going to decrease greenhouse gases, we're going to decrease them. Let me tell you right now, I know this, I have the best guys on it, best scientists. They say China, China's leaping ahead of us. China is on top of the world because they don't have the regulations that we do. China, China is ahead in the ballpark. If we stop right now, if we, if we don't, if we don't bring in... Bring in Hillary Clinton's insane environmental protection agency right in the EPA. We are going to we are going to destroy the economy of this country. <laughs> Same thing. No one knows what the AI can do. I know people are worried about it. People are very worried, very worried about the AI. But let me tell you, if we regulate this, China's ahead of us. China is ahead of us with the Ahead of us with the AI, they're very, they're already little tiny thinking machine people. They're very ahead of us. They're good at math. They're very good at math, people. They are going to take it right out of our hands, and then they, you're going to wake up with a Chinese rifle in your face, wondering why he's got little wires coming out of his neck. <laughs> okay. Thanks, TJ. TJ out here arguing like a 42-year-old Midwestern wine mom. What about China? do that then china advances well beyond us because they're embracing ai to its full capabilities and we're just sitting here like no we thought china's gonna be in the sky i, I just I, I, i've seen it i've seen it in a dream it came to me shiny little chinese mathematician wizard boys with complex metal brains floating through the sky silicon life 
on Mars and us just living like little weasel people in the earth, crumbling around in the dirt. <laughs> First off, if fucking China develops AI, they're going to sell it to us like three days after that. <laughs> we just, we just by bypass the concept of economics here at all. It's like, why does China do anything it does economically? And it's like, because it is in a love hate relationship with America, its best friend on earth. Uh, we hate each other and we love each other. And both of us have each other's hands down the front of each other's pants. And we yell at every other country who says, why, what are you guys doing? We thought you didn't like each other. No, if, if, if China develops AI tomorrow, okay. On the day after they are begging us, sending scientists to develop the technology so that our people can use it so they can sell it to us. Because otherwise, what the fuck? What, what, what is it, magic? <laughs> what the fuck are they? What are they going to do that's going to send them into the net? They st are they going to steal all of our shit faster? You know what I mean? <laughs> Hey, what, what is what is China going to do? Is China going to start paying its manufacturing workers less? <laughs> the Chinese were already beating them, dude. The sweatshops were off the hook. But now they're not, not even sweating. The sweatshops are just humming little AI machines, just little robots doing the things that the Chinese... There are billions of Chinese. There are, there are billions. Billions, millions of Chinese that are out of a job. It's kind of crazy. Their economy is in ruins because they have laid off their entire workforce. It's kind of, it's kind of horrible. But they are making so much more money than us. <laughs> there is somebody, they call him New Mao. He's, 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 it's Chinese. I don't know how to talk it. I don't know how to say their words. It's kind of, it's a little hushy whispery to me. But they call him, they call him New Mao. They call him the chairman. They said he's going to read. He's going to do a new revolution. He's very upset about the AI. I, that the communist. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, T. I. <laughs> oh, dude, hold on. I, I need this. I do need this. Dude, he's got this the grubbiest little grubby grub hands. TJ looking like a act, like a wizard, literally. Wi this is the face. This is the face of the uh, the the big bad wizard in a little kid's cartoon that has been convincing the the kid hero that he is a kindly old grandfather. The second before the kid undoes the magic curse that can only be lifted by a, by an innocent boy. <sighs> Take the goblet, young man. <laughs> Bring it to me. <laughs> thought it was too dangerous. So, I mean, the cat's out of the bag, okay? I got here recently. There's a reason why was, the story of Pandora's box Batman doesn't make end happily with all of the monsters being put back in the box. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, we've opened this box. So if this box contains our doom, then our doom is inevitable. Because even if we crack down and regulate, someone's not going to. Someone somewhere is going to push it to the max. And we, uh, you know, well, here's the thing is there's no guaranteed possibility that anything about AI is going to benefit us. And so far, it's only been shown to be a net negative and kind of a gross negative as well, considering how much money has been dumped into it and how unprofitable generative AI technology even is. It hasn't done anything. It is one of the most subsidized technologies in America right now. Uh, it's, it's being put in everybody's shit because they're paying people to put it in it. And no one wants to use it. Everyone's fucking deleting it. And everyone that has it, it's like Siri, where you're like, okay, maybe. And then you use it and you're like, ah, fucking turn this thing off. I'm sick of it listening to me. Um, and it's just getting, it's getting pushed. But like, what, what is the benefit? What, what benefit are we going to lose? Like, at least with American, like filthy American manufacturing and like oil extraction. I can tell you how many oil extraction jobs there are in America. I can tell you what our barrels per day are. I can tell you what impact that has on like the GPD. So when somebody's like, hey, we need to cut off oil production today, I can actually tell you why we shouldn't or why like that might be a bad idea or at least the damage that you have to mitigate to get to the next step of that conversation. Whereas with ChatGPT, what the fuck money have we made? Like, wh what money? Where are we made? Where's the cash? Like, manufacturing is manufacturing, all right? The auto production, as gross as it is for the environment, is producing autos, all right? We are, the, the slag from oil production is how we pour asphalt. We have road crews. That's an entire economic incentive 
to keep fossil fuels going, specifically hydrocarbon oil extraction, is a major part of the American economy. It's very evident. I can literally walk outside and step on it because it's fucking there. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's there. It's like that that part of the so if like we were like, hey, we need to restrict this to the point we're not making roads or automobiles anymore, okay. Yeah, all right, that'll fuck up our economy a bit. You have to articulate that, because otherwise you're just saying, like, China's going to get ahead of us in fucking what? In what? Chat GPD doesn't do shit that works. You, you, you make fucking, what, because you, you're making fucking YouTube thumbnails and porn with it, dude? Like, <laughs> it has no benefit. It has not benefited anybody. Every time it has been used in a context for anybody with an advanced degree, law, we saw a person disbarred for using it because the fucking chat GPT made up court cases the guy submitted to a sitting judge. He lost his fucking license to practice. Uh, doctors, it has invented organs and shit and just been completely fucking wrong. Children can't use it to cheat on their tests because it just puts the wrong information on. It's just an additional step on top of just plagiarizing, like control C, control V plagiarizing gets you closer and then just change a few words up. Like unironically, it has not done anything. It has not done a fucking thing. There's nothing that's gotten better. Not a fuck, nothing, nothing. What industry is benefiting from it? What industry has boomed, has exploded? What, where is the economic impact of chat GPT? I don't give a fuck about potentialities because I live on earth. All right. I'm not a gambling man. So like, if you want to show me, but like, I haven't even seen three steps away, even where chat GPT can be put in to make a fucking dollar for the American man outside of f literal fraud. <laughs> like It's trash. It's trash technology. It's unironically garbage. Like uh, what? The, the, the regulations aren't even against development of AI. It's against implementation. Do you know what I mean? You can still work on the fucking algorithms and shit. You can't... That's a fucking First Amendment protected thing. It's just doing math. You can still just do math. You just... The, the regulations that are going to get put in are protecting people from the rampant Nazi level fucking like we don't give a shit about the human impact experimentation these fucking psychos are doing where they're just violating like the sense of the human spirit and people's fucking legal rights in order to develop something that they say is going to make you money at some point. It's the most self-absorbed shit I've ever heard. Literal Literal evangelical Christian trying to explain to me why Jesus would want me to put fucking razor wire traps in water that drown children. Same fucking mentality leads to both things. Just pure reactionaryism. Pure reactionary. It's fuck garbage content. Like TJ, the amazing atheist Kirk. When did you start sucking cock, bro? Fucking for, for just like capitalist shill tech. Like when the fuck did you fall off, man? This is unironically depressing. I thought I would get some content out of this, but I'm like shocked to the fucking heart of me how cucked TJ is to shit he doesn't even fucking know about. Like, what have you used it for? Probably porn and thumbnails, man. We need to fuck, we need to put everything at risk. Everything at risk. I'm not gonna look not gonna look into it. I get uh blinders. I'm not gonna look into it. I'm just gonna assume there's no possible risks. Uh, there's no possible risks, okay? What have you gotten out of it, TJ? I have made porn and thumbnails. Porn and thumbnails. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Nine minutes and 38 seconds. I can't get deeper into it, guys. Because he's not making any point. He's just saying he doesn't know. He's saying, I don't know. I can't think of a reason. I can think of a reason and I do know. We've skipped to the end. But why are you upset with Anna? It's Anna Kasparian. You should be fucking dunking on her. Like, uh, I don't know, basketball metaphor. <laughs> oh that big fucking foot holy shit hell yeah sweet cheeks nobody nobody be weird about my rabbit foot like god damn bro I, i'm losing my mind i'm losing my fucking mind let's just skip to the end now but if we just throw in the but if we just say like well we need to clamp down on this technology then china's definitely gonna be this right How, is it the same so thing? i mean like one so if this box contains our doom, then our doom is inevitable. Because even if we crack down and regulate, someone's not going to. Someone somewhere, it only makes sense in, like, I mean, either a one world government or at least a global cooperative. I have a super easy excuse. Well, if we don't I, do it, I the Chinese will. I skipped ahead and to the, the same the politicians point, use to make sure that they don't get in there. Okay, but 
what's I mean, like by your own logic, you've said that. I finished happen. building so, my Lego sidewalk. Good job. How's that? How's that like a skate park? A fig Good leaf, job. as you say. It seems to me like a very real concern, especially if you're concerned about all these countries playing. Like this is one of the things I've said so many times, is that this technology is not what's scary to me. What's scary to me is the social configuration wherein, uh, wherein is that right? Wherein the technology is emerging. So. Like Tyler, you can't prove that AI is intelligent it's like, oh, it's because you can't jobs. see in the well, black box. Was it, what, were we fucking doing Schrodinger? If people controlled the means of production. If we lived in a like communist society, AI coming along would be this tremendous boon to all these people because it means like, hey, you know, this job that human beings have had to do for so long can now just be done by machines. We can automate. Sorry, Caesar Lou. I was waiting for Tyler to mention I have no mouth. Sorry you're the only one talking in the Either chat, way. Killjoy. By the way, if you, if you went, pop over to the Twitch chat and say hi. <laughs> And that would be a relief for people, not a fucking fear. It's like, oh, shit, how am I going to feed my family? It should be, oh, joy, I don't have to do this tedious job anymore because we found a machine that can do it. So this is yet another example where it's like, okay, maybe there's some downsides to this technology where it could be used in insidious ways or it could be we could lose control of it. And there's some common sense regulations we could do that would make that far less likely. But we can't do it because we don't live in a global society. We cannot slow down our own development of this technology without fear that other countries are not. Nuclear brinksmanship? TJ, at what point, at what point do you, do, did you know you're a conservative? We're doing nuclear brinkmanship argument. We're doing, are, are, are we really doing, are we really doing fucking like, we need to do the nuclear arms race with AI again because you're nervous? Like, are you, how fucking stupid can you be? I'm oh going to do God. the same. And then they're going to surpass oh us. Dude, and then they're going to use though. their technological superiority to do what people with technological superiority do, which is dominate. Everyone who doesn't have that technological superiority. Just Not like always the, the reasons case. that the U.S. Look at Britain is a global superpower is because we're the first ones who developed the fucking atomic bomb. Their way as they create these AI apparatuses. Oh, that yep. is. The new camera is <sighs> top. Dude, Why'd you tease that story for the bonus episode? <laughs> look at this little dude. Hush, hush, TJ. He loves it in there. He is so happy about new fucking camera. I gotta show you. Oh, I can't. I don't want to move. I don't want to make him nervous. Look, he's licking the camera. He liked the camera. He liked you guys. He's very happy. The happiest little dude. Oh my god. It's really cute. Bud? He's just grinding his teeth. He fucking. He really likes it down there. He's doing a little clicks. He's doing the Gen AI equals robotics thing. It. it it's crazy that like your knowledge of AI is both limited to and informed by only Terminator 2 Judgment Day is is crazy cuz like just like AI means robots is wild. Like what at what point how does the a prove to me that ChatGPT makes robotics easier like <laughs> Was was there just like it was just a speed thing all along? It wasn't like any sort of like an interesting problem solving. Like we just need to plug in new software. It was it was just software issue. <laughs> like you're just trying to jumpstart four billion years of evolution and like ten thousand years of scientific development by being like, oh no, magic computer, magic computer god will lead me forward. <laughs> Fuck. Weak, weak, weak display from a weak man. I've never been more disappointed um, in a former YouTuber than with TJ. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Um, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to actively try to like look at some of his videos off stream just so I can like be reinvigorated uh, in my faith in TJ Kirk as a creator. I mean, like he fell off after the SJW thing because completely fucking wrong. You know what I mean? <laughs> Kind of, kind of did lead everybody in the wrong direction, uh, gleefully with with that whole arc. Um, and now to see him on the flip, basically giving terrified Midwestern conservative opinions about AI, uh, the same sort of shit that we would be hearing from you know random firebrand priest preacher from fucking like Georgia or some shit, losing their fucking mind. Ah! Uh, and just giving that same terrified take about AI as they give about like nuclear brinkmanship and the fucking uh, the the climate change is crazy. It's crazy. The demise of manufacturing because we're gonna fucking like make some rules for it so that we don't all die. I, I, I literally, I mean, I've reacted to it already, but I don't know how to add anything to it, so I'm just gonna cut it there. Like and like subscribe. And like, like, like and subscribe. Like and like subscribe. Like and like subscribe. Like and like subscribe.